Hello everyone, my name is Clark Isaac, and today's message is brought to you by the Ecumenical Order of Christ. On behalf of Lord Rael and the Holy and Apostolic Order of the Temple, today's topic will be observing the signs and staying on the path. Two very important things that go in conjunction with one another, and our guest tonight will be Cardinal Samantha Kennedy, also leader of the Hull Church in the United Kingdom. As soon as she joins us, I'll bring her on the live broadcast with us. She will be broadcasting from the United Kingdom, and she was gracious enough to stay up very late in order to make it on time for this broadcast. I assure you that she will do her best to join us as soon as possible. And I see that one of our very old friends and family members, Drew Densley, is watching. Thank you, brother, for the love. Emoji, emoticon, whatever you want to call it. We miss you immensely and love you very much as well. Happy to have you with us. While we're waiting here, I am going to do what I can to share this. Um, okay, seems I don't have that function here. But anybody who's watching, if you don't mind sharing this in the International Congregation of Lord Rail while we're, while you're watching this, then others who are not uh, directly invited to this event will be able to watch it with us. That would be really cool, and I'm sure that. Many of our people will appreciate it, so thank you in advance. Um, <clears throat> so observing the signs and staying on the path, those two topics go very well together. And of course, for obvious reasons, if, and this is sort of like a symbolism as well, and I'm going to use it as such, like a parable of sorts. If you're walking on a pathway and there's signs on the side of the path that lead you to different directions, how would you know which path to walk on if you weren't looking at the signs? And this is very much like the path with the Lord. The best way to follow the Lord is twofold. In that there's two main things you should be doing. You should be following his ways, but you should also be following his signs. The signs which are around him and the signs which preceded him. What led us to find Lord Rael was both of those things. But what leads us to follow him, what motivates us to follow him, are the signs that are with him and his ways. So, just talking about some of the signs which preceded him. There was the Six-Day War in Israel, which occurred the same time as his birth, his earthly birth in this life. There was the Tetrad Moon Cycle, which occurred at the same time. The Blood Red Moon, the Eclipse, which occurred in the 60s. There was Israel becoming a nation. And it seems like um, seems like some sister Samantha is with us and I'm going to do my best to add her to this. I don't know exactly how, so bear with me, please. Um, okay. I'm sorry. Just one second, please. <laughs> this is all new to me. Sister, I believe I sent you an invite. And everyone, if you would give your attention and love and admiration to Sister Samantha when she gets on air with us. Um, Sister, let me know if you didn't get the invite, please. I see you on private messenger. And if you didn't receive the invite, let me know right now and I'll do what I can to, to try and send that again or some other way. Okay. Um, all right, I've added you into the broadcast. 
now I don't I don't know how to add your video feed into the broadcast it's kind of awkward <laughs> um <clears throat> well hmm I, I'm doing my best to add you in here, sister. I really don't know how. I apologize. I'm trying to get Samantha into the broadcast itself to like do a dual broadcast. Join her. Yeah, um, she's she's watching it, but she's not in the feed, the live feed. Press to be in your broadcast. Hello, you just send your request to join your broadcast. You can add them at any point. Um, Sister Samantha, if there's a link that you can press somewhere, that's it should say uh, something about requesting to be in the broadcast. If you can select that. It, it says to me right now, Samantha can't go live with you right now. So perhaps something on your end is preventing it. I do apologize, everyone. Well, while we wait to get that sorted, Samantha, I do see your comments. Please feel free to um, to say what you will in in the comments and I'll repeat what you're saying out loud for the audience uh, and for the recording because we will be re-uploading this to YouTube as well. So um, where we were before, I don't know if you were watching before sister, but we were talking about how signs keep us on the path with the Lord and also it's what brought us to the path with the Lord. And we were talking about some of the signs which preceded him and I think now we can talk about a little bit about the signs which are with him and which are with us as well. I know personally you were privy to uh, some storms that went around your location. The same thing happened to us here in Baja. This is something that we can both relate to, both the whole church in the UK and the Baja Sanctuary in Baja, California, which is Baja Norte in, in Mexico. Two very similar events which occurred. Um, I don't recall the exact dates, uh, maybe Sister Samantha's privy to that information, but while we wait for any um, textual, text response from Samantha, um, I just want to give another shout out to Drew. Thank you for the private message. We're doing wonderful. Thank you for asking, brother. And I'm, <laughs> I'm really glad that you're doing well, too. And we miss you very much, and we hope to be with you soon. And uh, everyone else out there, we also love you very much. Thank you for watching. Um, another sign that we seldom consider is our love for each other. And it's something so beautiful. And I have to say that being with spiritual family reminds me personally of the path that we should be on. And in, that in itself is a sign just the path that we walk on um, together. And I'm going to read uh, what Sister Samantha has texted to everyone. The storm which uh, passed around their location was Storm Frank, F-R-A-N-K. Um, they had a, a boat in, um, in a river. I don't remember exactly which river, but she's referencing that all the boats which were on either side of their boat, which was a houseboat, all of them sank except for theirs. Another sign. And uh, Drew's saying in private message, uh, just asking us how everyone's doing. And he said the whole state of uh, South Australia went out of power and that, um, that he's, uh, He's never far, and he'll be with us soon. And much love to you all. Love God, love each other. He says he loves us both, especially you, Samantha. Um, the name of the river where this occurred 
where their boat did not sink, but all the others did, was the Ticton Channel, and that's spelled T-I-C-K-T-O-N. Uh, multiple ships, boats, sunk, but not theirs. Keep that in mind. A sign. Uh, there was Hurricane Norbit, Hurricane Odile, and I believe there's one more. I don't remember the exact name, but those hurricanes went right around our location on either side of Baja, and they didn't touch us. Not even a single band of, of rain even did more than sprinkle in our area. We've had, we've had worse rains outside of the monsoon season than we had when those hurricanes passed us. So keep that in mind as yet another sign. Uh, we've spoken to locals in Mexico, and they said this is the strangest uh, series of hurricane seasons they've ever seen since they've lived here. And I'm, we're talking to people who've lived here their whole lives. Elderly people who've lived there their whole lives. Never seen anything like it. Maybe once in a while, but this has been happening consecutively for five years now. And it just so happens the sign which occurred for five years coincides with us being here for five years. No coincidence. Another sign. Um, Samantha says, bless you, brother, to our brother Drew. And she said that when she was younger, and she's nearly 50 now, was never like what people see uh, today in the last few years. And this is talking about storms as a sign, but I can also say that it's very likely she means many other signs as well when it comes to natural disasters, because we are in agreement in there. The signs speak for themselves, but for those of you who aren't paying attention, who aren't looking at the signs, there are places where you can go to look up the fact that a lot of these disasters have increased in severity and frequency how often they occur, and in places which they never occurred before. For example, uh, this what we call glacial chastisement. Of course, more than half of America was frozen solid for a period of time in 2013. However, Egypt got snow um, in places where it hadn't snowed in over 100 years. Jerusalem, the same time. And these were predicted by a Torah code discovery from Cardinal Richard Ruff who proved that he could predict events before they occurred with the Torah code. And he was the only one to do that until that time. Since then, some of our people, including Prophet Elijah, Michael Har, and Cardinal Emil Johansson, have also proven, using Cardinal Richard Ruff's method, also the reincarnation of Prophet Moses, that with his method, they've also predicted events before they occurred. I don't have those exact events on the top of my head right now, but we can prove that to you. Simply inquire in the International Congregation of Lord Rael about any of these signs, and then some. And our people will be happy to explain them to you and provide all the evidence you require to go beyond faith and see the proof. Now, people say that faith is dead without works. Now, if you have a faith in God, you have a faith in Christ, you have a faith in any particular religion, if you don't put action to that, it's empty. But at the same time, Faith is meaningless without proof. You could put your works towards something you believe in, and it's just, it could merely be a fantasy. It's very possible. And I'm sure even the religious people here that are watching know people of some other religion, and they might perceive their beliefs as pure fantasy. Well, your beliefs could be perceived just as easily as such if you don't have evidence to provide to people who don't have the same perspective as you do on the matter. You have to consider that. Look at things logically. Sister Samantha also said, a big sign also occurred with the River Euphrates. If you don't know the River Euphrates, it is 
paralleled to the river Tigris, and it is uh, a river which was in ancient Babylon, also today in, uh, in Iraq, modern-day Iraq. Uh, it dried up, and this occurred around the same time as the, uh, the virgin with the moon under her feet, with the uh, crown of stars over her head on the 23rd of September in, uh, I believe, 2015. Or, no, no, I'm sorry. It was 2017 that this occurred. And this sign in the stars, which is in the Book of Revelation depicted, occurred only once in recorded human history, and it'll never be as such again in the history of mankind. So this sign, which could only occur at one point in human history, has occurred within the past few years. So this time that we're in, we're seeing these signs occur all in culmination with one another within this seven-year window of time. And you have to consider now, the time that we're in now is really borrowed time. We're seeing signs behind us more than we're seeing signs in front of us. The last signs are with us when it comes to Judeo-Christian prophecy. We're near the end, if not very at the end. So get ready for this path to change. And make sure that you're with the right people on that path. Make sure that you have the correct people guiding you on that path because they just as easily might lead you astray, especially in the end when there's very little signs left to guide you. So look at the signs which preceded him. Look at the signs that are with him. Follow him on the narrow path because there's very few that walk this path. That's the reason why it's narrow. And consider this before we go to love God, and to love each other, and to let that be the greatest fruit of your labor, to let that be the greatest proof of your faith, to love each other, to love God, and understand that we are all meant to be watchers on the wall. And only when you see the signs, but deny your leading down the wrong path, and I'm quoting Sister Samantha here. And I'm gonna I'm gonna paraphrase what she's saying here because to apply it to 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 what I was just saying, if you aren't a a watcher of these signs and leading people, really telling them the right things to do, and you're just walking it alone, you're you're only serving yourself. Where's the love each other in that? You have to spread that message to others. Otherwise, you, your faith is dead. There's no works to that faith. So if you do as the Lord commanded, you love God, love each other. But also, tell others what you have learned. That's a quote from Lord Rael in his introduction speech when he first revealed himself to the world. Tell others what you have learned and bring them to the light. And that light is knowledge, wisdom, understanding, and love, justice. And those things in themselves will bring you peace. No other things in this world will bring you complete peace and tranquility. So faith and action come into play, as Sister Samantha has said. Now is the time do what's right for God and for each other. I love you very much. May peace be with you. In the name of Lord Rael.